Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. MC Mora here and in today's video we are gonna be talking about who are the coolest male characters in Street Fighter 5. Now obviously we had already made a tier list for the waifus, now it's time for the guys and uh, who are the coolest characters in the game. And obviously cool is gonna depend on the character looks, their personality, how they carry themselves, how serious they are, how chill they are, etc, etc, etc. Maybe who is funny, who is too serious for his own good, etc. And uh, before we start, I just want to say that I will eliminate some of them right out of the gate. Uh, where is he? Alright, Nikali. Nikali is like, let's say he's like B tier. Nikali is cool once he activates B trigger, he looks kinda cool. But Nikali doesn't like... Like he seemed cool as a guy that you would watch or something, but he's not like cool in the real life scenarios, right? Like I can't imagine Nikali, like because he's just like an animal, right? Nikali is kind of like an animal, so I can't really rate him that highly. He just wanna devour and eat people, and I don't know. I like I don't buy that as something that's actually very cool. He does look cool once he activates V trigger. Although he looks kind of demonic, but I don't know. I, I like I wouldn't say that Nikali is a cool guy, and he like he, you wouldn't even want to hang around him or anything like that. So I'll say he's down there. Um, who else? Let's say that Zangief. Zangief is super cool in my opinion. Zangief is awesome. Honestly, he yeah he is kind of you know he is kind of over obsessed with muscles. And everything but Zangief seems like the best guy to hang around with. If you ask me about like which of the Street Fighter characters would you like to hang around with, I will say Zangief is very high on this list. He is super funny, obviously he is obsessed with muscles but also he works very hard, he is super funny, he is very chill, he is a show off but he doesn't disrespect others whatsoever. Honestly Zangief is like the real deal, I love Zangief. And next up, if we're talking about the coolest, Ziku is way up there. Ziku have so much swag, it's unbelievable. For an old guy, Ziku could be the swaggiest old guy I have ever seen. He have like an anime mullet for a hair, he can transform into a young version, his moves looks amazing, the way he carries himself looks amazing, he looks like he's always having a lot of fun. He's also like a businessman who's like trying to uh, make a craft out of the ninja service. So he is a chill guy. And I, and, and, and I know it is a small detail, but I love that he's always wearing a watch, like a hand watch on every single costume he has. I think that's really, really cool and badass. So I love Ziku. And next up, obviously, Cody. This may, may call me biased, I don't care. But Cody is obviously one of the coolest male characters in the game, right? The way Cody carries himself, the way he, you know, the way he talks to everyone, the way he fights, everything about him is super cool. He's super chill. Cody obviously just cares for the fight. Yes, it's something that he gets some deep level of enjoyment out of, but also he is very cool about it. And uh, obviously, even as like a, a character, like a, a person that you wanna hang around with, like as a friend, he seemed like he would be a very cool guy. And obviously, he's a mayor. So if you happen to befriend Cody, you know, you got the entire city facilities at your hand, so he is pretty cool. Next up is Honda. And I love Honda in Street Fighter 5. I know I talked about it maybe in the costume tier list, but Honda is amazing in this game. Uh, I love how he's so chill. You know how when you do the V skill with Honda and then do the hands and he goes like ha 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 Like he has this laugh. That just cracks me up every single time. I know he could be kind of obnoxious when you're fighting against him, but he's honestly such a cool guy, and I love him. I really love him, and I love the uh, I love his outfits. This game, the the suit he have like a suit which makes him look like a yakuza boss, and that just looks badass. Maybe in his default costume, and the focus on sumo is a little bit too annoying, but he's like an awesome guy to be honest. Next up is Dan. And Dan is actually really, really cool. Dan is cool for all of the wrong reasons. Like, he's a guy who's just freaking hilarious. 
I I love Dan to be honest. I love Dan like the joke side of Dan. Uh, obviously, as a fighting game character, I'm not very fond of him. But Dan is like, I love how he's super confident of himself despite always failing. Like there is something that's actually very cool about this. I love how he always tries despite be despite failing every single time, and he has so much confidence in himself despite being an epic failure. It is amazing to be honest. So for that, I do think Dan is a super cool character. Uh, next up, let's talk about Bison. Bison have so much swagger in Street Fighter V, it's, it's, it's kind of absurd. Like, just look at his default fighting style. Like, he's cross-armed, he doesn't care what you're doing, he doesn't care what you think. I actually love that they gave him white hair. It makes him look very royal, he looks like... He looks like a like like, like someone who runs a, like a big evil corporation. He really really does. I've always thought it was kind of weird how Bison looked kind of out of place in the older games, right? Like why would a war dictator be a street fighting? Like it never made sense. But he actually uh, carries himself super well in this game, and I love his uh, critical art. When he like there is this laugh. <laughs> Ultimate Psycho Girash like, like it's amazing. I, he's honestly like he's super cool in this game. I've never liked Bison in my entire life. Street Fighter V is the first game where I genuinely liked Bison. So that is saying something. Uh, next up I do think that Ken is a pretty cool guy, obviously. I don't have to comment on it that much. Ken is amazing, red fireballs, he is rich. He you know what is what I really like about Ken over you? Ken is a guy who, like, obviously he's very powerful, right? He runs a company, he's a millionaire, he is a professional fighter, he is married, he has a kid. He's like the guy who got the work-life balance together, right? He's still a kick-ass fighter, he is a businessman, he is a pretty cool dude, have a flaming uppercut. He's supposed to look super handsome, I know that they butcher his look in Street Fighter V, but Ken is supposed to be like a super handsome guy. And he's still a very competent fighter. Like, that is something that you kind of admire. Unlike Ryu. Like, Ryu's entire life is about the fight. But, like... Like, why is Ken still hanging? Like, if, if Ken got his life together, and he is still hanging and doing as badass as he does, Ryu have no excuse, to be honest. So that's just my opinion. I do think Ryu is pretty cool. I actually like his design a lot. I don't. I do think like he's over. He's like he's over. He's so into fighting to a kind of an annoying degree that makes him lose some luster, in my opinion. Although Hot Ryu is pretty interesting, and uh, it, for kind of the same reason, I will have Sagat in the. I mean, let's put them both in the beat here, to be honest. Sagat is another character who is like completely obsessed with the... But I, I think Sagat's cooler than you. You know what? For you in the B, Sagat in the A. I think Sagat is... He, again, he is super... Sagat is funny because he is... Like, the, Sagat's entire plot is that he is salty from losing to Ryu. Like, that is the entire character. Right? Sagat's entire existence is that he lost to Ryu. Ryu whooped his ass. So he's devoting his entire life to get back at Ryu. And while some people may think that is pathetic, I actually think it's super relatable. Like we are all in a way kind of like Sagat, where we had like this amazing failure that... And for Sagat it's actually really cool because it like it left a physical scar on him. But his entire life is devoted to coming back at Ryu. So for that, I do actually think he's kind of relatable. Yes, he's obsessed with fighting, but he actually have a good reason. He doesn't seem he doesn't seek strengths like Ryu and you know ultimate balance. He just wanna kick Ryu's ass, and I find that to be very attractive and very appealing, to be honest. Uh, next up, we have um, G. Obviously, G is a very cool guy. Like no one g is amazing he has so much swagger like when you look at his walk cycle his animation he looks like he is having too much fun he is kind of menacing in a way because of his mystery but i do th i do think he, he is like a very cool personality obviously he is so who's so much larger than life and i find that very interesting next up is alex and uh, alex is a very cool guy like I you know what I love about Alex? 
and I know this is this may sound kind of funny. Every character in Street Fighter have like a like a super fancy name for their attacks, right? Like this is the tornado sweep. Sure, you can uh, you know psycho ball. You know you know how it goes. Alex just call it. He hits you with an elbow and he say elbow. He hits you with a slash and say slash. Power bomb and say power bomb. Like he's super unfancy when it comes to attacks, right? He is like super practical, super unfancy. Obviously, he is still like a young adult in Street Fighter V. So maybe I do think Third Strike Alex is cooler than Street Fighter V Alex, but he will get there. Like he have a bright future. Speaking of a guy who do not have a bright future, Ed. Ed is obnoxious. Ed is like the epitome of uncool. He's like he could have been the coolest guy ever. Like imagine someone who's like Bison and Balrog uh, baby. So he's like the mix between Bison and Balrog. Think of like someone like Rock Howard who's amazing. Ed is like the opposite of all that. Ed is like an annoying. He's like that annoying bastard that you just push away and tell him to you know go play somewhere else like he is such an obnoxious character and he like even his voice is annoying one two three one two three it's like you know oh my god even talking about it makes me annoyed he's such a bitch and uh next up we're gonna talk about hmm. Honestly, Abigail, I do like Abigail a lot. I know some people are not a fan of Abigail, but Abigail is hilarious. Abigail seems like he'd be such a fun guy to hang around with. Like, obviously he thinks that he's a car, he's super obsessed with cars, but he is a, he's, he's pretty funny. Like, Abigail would actually be hilarious. I can see him being a super funny guy to hang around with, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna say that Kage is kinda in the A tier. Kage is weird because his animation and his fighting style and his voice are kind of interesting But the thing about Kage is that he looks stupid This is the main issue. Kage is, is the entire issue is how he looks. The horns and the underbite kills the entire design And he's supposed to be like this ultra cool guy and super edgy uh, version of Ryu or like the embodiment of the evil Hado and all of that, but the dumb horn and underbite make him look really, really stupid. And I don't like how short Kage is. I don't know if it's his posture or his stance, but he looks like he's super short and hunched over. Like, I don't think that Lucia should look bigger than Kage. Like, that just looks weird. I don't know, but it looks weird to me, so for that he is kinda on the lower end. Uh, Vega obviously is amazing, I do like Vega a lot. Vega is a ninja who wears clothes. You know what I love about Vega? It's like, he's the most practical guy in the game. And I know, I, I, I know it, it might not make sense, but he's like a guy who actually can stab, he can shank others to death. Right? He's super obsessed with tasting other people's blood, he loves himself too much, he loves his face so much, so that, that's why he wears masks. I mean, he's a little bit psychotic even when he laughs, like he laughs, ha 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 Like he has this crazy ass laugh when he does his super, I actually find it to be pretty cool, so he is up there. Uh, Yurian, I do think, is like, kind of like in the new tier. He is, Yurian is weird, and I do think there are some parts of Yurian that I really like, and others that I really dislike. So, the thing about Yurian, if you don't know, uh, Yurian and Gil are supposed to be brothers, right? Yurian and Gil are brothers, and uh, this is actually really interesting, Yurian is the older brother. And uh, this was actually a surprise to me, I didn't know this until recently. So Yurian is the older brother, but he's kinda mentally unstable, so that's why he actually... Um, but Gil is like the mentally stable uh, brother, right? So that's why Gil is the leader of the Illuminati, while Yurian is just the side guy. And uh, that actually makes him salty, it makes him annoyed. He actually just, if you look at his character ending, he just wanna be, like he just want his younger brother back. But obviously he, he is very envious of Gil. So uh, I don't know, that's interesting, but I, I just hate how he moves. I hate his 
like the, the how his move animates he is a little bit too crazy and seem to be such an egotistical maniac and i don't know i don't find that very attractive gil on the other hand is a very chill dude gil carries himself like a boss gil is a true boss in all honesty it's like he is badass that's all i can say obviously he is blue and red so that's kind of an annoying thing but he is a badass nash i will feel average out at an a the way nash moves and the way he talks his voice and everything it's incredible s tier the issue with nash is if you have actually played the story he they just they, they did him dirty they really did him dirty so i don't know if i should judge nash based on his looks or the story if i were to judge nash based only on looks i would put him in the s tier but uh, because I know he got jobbed out a lot, let's just put him in the A tier. But he's a pretty cool guy. And speaking of cool guys, I also think Rashid is a pretty cool guy. Uh, Rashid obviously is very chill. He loves to befriend people. He loves to have fun. Uh, obviously, I do think his moves look really, really cool. I don't think the Yahoo and all that stuff he does fits him. He seems to be too old for that stuff in my opinion. I would expect that out of someone like Yun or Yang, or just like teens or like young adults. Rashid seems to be well into his 20s maybe, so I do think it looks kind out of place for him, but he's still a pretty cool guy. I think Rashid is alright. Akuma obviously is also... Akuma is weird. I wanna put him... I would put him at the top of A. Obviously... If you're talking about like evil Hado, you know, fight masters, Akuma's up there. But I like, I'm not a fan of the sunflower on his head. I'm not a fan of how he, like, everything above his, uh, his shoulder look kind of wack. Maybe classic Akuma, the demonic classic Akuma, looks a lot better. But this guy looks kind of weird. Obviously, they gave him the most kick ass raging demon. He is kind of obsessed with fighting. So that is kind of lame, but at the same time, he is a pretty cool guy, all things, you know, all things considered, not gonna lie. Uh, Dulcim to me is S tier, and this might surprise some people, but Dulcim to me is like, he's a yoga guy who can kick your ass. Like, he breathes fire, like, think, think of it that way. Dulcim breathes fire. How, and like, how cool does it get? Look at his beard, look at how he's carrying himself, like, he can float, you know, Dalsim is the best, I also really, really like him. And, uh, Gael, I'm gonna say, goes into the... I'm gonna put, I, I wanna put him in the B. Gael seems like a meathead to me, and he's just obsessed with people. See, see here's the thing about Gael. I do like him to a certain extent. I do actually like Guy a lot. I do like like but but here's the thing, I never liked I never liked how Guy fights. For someone who's supposed to be like a muscle head and like a badass fighter, his fighting style almost you know it just seemed too cowardly for me. Like I do it, it wouldn't like like I would expect Guy to be like someone who gets in and trade punches with his opponent. But all he does is actually sit back and throw sonic booms, so that is kinda lame. I hated how in the story, he had almost no reaction whatsoever to Nash being the uh, being alive. And how he was like being ordered around by Karen. Like, to come on. Like, I, I would have expected Guile to be like the leader of the group, right? But like Karen was bossing him around, so I thought that was kinda lame. Guile disappointed me, honestly, in all honesty. And his default costume here... He looks kind of like a mall cop, so I don't know. I'm not a big fan of how they did Guile in Street Fighter Five, you know. Obviously. And uh, next up we have Blanca. Obviously, Blanca. I do think Blanca is gonna be like in an A tier. Blanca seems like he is. I do like his design a lot in this game. The added hair looks really, really cool on him. He do, I do like that he kind of want to franchise himself, you know, make the toy, the Blanca Shan toy. He isn't too serious, although I do think he talks and shouts too much, so he is a little bit annoying. 
but uh, he he still looks like a green angry bastard. So I, I do kind of like that. Uh, Fang, uh, Fang, I would say goes into the B. Fang is like he's like a dipshit guy, but 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 he's like the good kind of a dipshit guy, you know. Like he's, you, I think you're supposed to hate Fang. You're supposed to dislike him. Uh, he, his fighting style is a little bit too cowardly. So I, I I don't, but I don't think Fang is supposed to be cool, right? He's not supposed to be the cool villain, right? Like Bison. And Vega are like, and Balrog, I would say these are like, these are supposed to be like the cool guys. Um, I don't think Fang is supposed to be cool. I think you're supposed to hate him. He is supposed to be kind of a coward. So I do actually think, uh, you know, I I think he fits in like the lower end of B. And obviously, I put Balrog in the S tier. Balrog. The way he moves, the way he fights, he's just someone who's want to fuck shit up and he cares about his fight money and nothing else. He's actually kind of very relatable in all honesty. Like, out of all of the villains in Street Fighter, he doesn't actually have any beliefs, he doesn't have any lore, he just he just want to fuck shit up and get his fight money. That's, in, that's an entire story. And I find that to be actually quite an appealing, right? Like, Balrog is funny. So I would put him in the S tier. And finally, Birdie. I do think Birdie is hilarious as well. Uh, obviously, he is kind of annoying. I wouldn't say like he's the coolest guy, but he is kind of funny in all honesty. Uh, maybe a little bit too disgusting, but at the same time, he looks like he would be a fun guy to hang around. And that leaves Seth. And um, I know I didn't put Seth in the waifu's uh, tier list because he's not a human, guys. Uh, and I don't want to put him in here because he's not a human either, right? He's just he's just a robot or an android or an artificial intelligence of sort who is obsessed with destroying bison. So uh, he the animation looks kind of cool, but I don't think uh, he also qualifies for this list either. So let me know what you actually think. Do you agree with this list or do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below. I will be leaving a link to the Patreon page and the Discord page in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.